guys welcome to my channel the third eye angel so this is actually going to be my very first video on my beauty channel today we are going to be doing a curly hair routine and I just wanted to stop in give you a little bit of information on my hair show you the products that I'm going to be using to do my actual wash routine if you guys would like to see that let me know and I'm going to give you a little bit of a length check and then we'll go hop in the shower. I'll come back and I will show you guys how I do my So, Just for some information, I am three years natural. I started um, actually, I started transitioning in 2014. And that transitioning process was actually pretty easy for me because I was I was never afraid of the scissors so um, I got some shorter haircuts um, still kind of maintained my length but I wasn't afraid of trimming and clipping and styling so that process went very very fast for me and I was transitioned in like less than a year <laughs> so um, this is my natural hair this is a five day wash and go using the products that i'm going to show you in this video so just for reference this is where my hair stops and this is my hair completely stretched i've played with it i've stretched it um and just to give you guys an idea of my length it stops right here so I get about 50% shrinkage and my hair is almost <laughs> down my boobs. Well, it's going down my boobs, so. I haven't really had any setbacks and I can discuss that in a video um, because I'm pretty casual with my hair. I don't change things up a lot. I stick to my routines and really I'm in this for the health of my hair not the length if it were shorter um, but it were still healthy then I really wouldn't care <laughs> because I love my hair so now that I've given you guys a little bit of information on my hair and like I said let me know what you want to see in the comments below if you want to see a wash day routine if you want to see a video on how I transitioned give me all of those details okay so Here's what I'm going to do to wash my hair. I have actually a sample of the Curly Whirly Shampoo by Lush. I'm going to try this out today. If I like it, I will be purchasing it. I do have one shampoo from Lush that I really love. But I wanted to try this because it is, you know, it's called Curly Whirly. <laughs> So I will let you guys know how I like this and if I do enjoy it, I will get the big tub. To detangle, I'm going to use my Garnier Damage Eraser. Um, clearly, I have a love affair with this thing. It's like the second giant bottle that I've been through. <laughs> um, this will be in an empties video that I'm working on now. I really love this because it has tons of slip and makes my hair feel stronger. I don't have any issues getting this through my hair and my hair doesn't react to it it doesn't my hair is already soft so i don't like using conditioners that soften my hair up that much more <laughs> it doesn't do my hair <clears throat> any good it actually makes it worse so um i like using something that kind of fortifies my hair so that this is what i use to detangle and then to deep condition i'm going to be using the garnier whole blend honey treasures hair mask what I will do is section my hair off, apply this to each section, put on a plastic cap, and sit under the dryer for about 30 minutes. So that is going to be my wash routine. I'm going to go get this baby cracking, and I will come back and show you guys how I style this mane. Okay guys, so let's get started. This is my hair with no product, completely cleaned and conditioned. So you can see I have quite a bit of definition already without any styling products in my hair. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add the main choice growth oil to my scalp. I like to do this to help my scalp throughout the week, keep it from itching, and of course stimulating your scalp will also help stimulate hair growth. So I like to do this while my hair is wet. 
Now I'm going to section my hair. I'm going to section my hair into three different parts. So, both sides and then the back, so. So now I'm going to go in with my first product, which is the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Leave-In Conditioner. I'm going to re-wet the section, and then I'm going to split that section into smaller pieces. Um, I think I split this section into about three pieces to add my product. So I start off with about a nickel size amount of product, and I will rake that through my hair. I really like this conditioner because it gives me a lot of slip, but like I said earlier, it also fortifies my hair and makes it stronger. So I get really nice, shiny, but strong hair. And of course, just add as much product as you need. Some may need more, some may, may need less. And to top off my leave-in conditioner, I will add the Shea Moisture, the Nuka Honey, and the Fura Oil Intensive Hydration Complex Serum. I like to do this to just seal that moisture into my hair and provide a nice base for my gel. I find that if I do this, then my gel won't be as crunchy in the days following. And then I just twist the section up and then I move on to the next section. And this back section is a little bit larger than the other two sections that I have on my head. So I will split this into smaller subsections to make sure that all of my hair is evenly coated with product. And I also add a little bit more product to the crown of my head. That's my problem spot. It takes in product a little bit more differently than the rest of my hair. It's a little bit more coarse. So I do add a little bit of extra product to that section. So all three sections are done and now we're going to go on and add our styler. So my styler of choice is the Kinky Curly Curling Custard. And to apply this, I will re-wet the section of hair. Make sure that your hair is completely wet when you apply this. And then I'll separate that section into two parts. So I don't add as much styler as I add my leave-in conditioner. I like using the Kinky Curly Curling Custard because it has tons of slip and it provides my hair with a lot of hold, especially in humidity. And here you can see that I'm using the praying hands method, so instead of raking the gel through my hair like I do with the leave-in conditioner and the oil, I like to make sure that everything is pressed and smoothed into my hair. I do this because, although I do have super curly hair, I also have some really deep waves. And I find that when I rake my hair, it doesn't really do those waves justice. So when I use the praying hands method, I get nice even distribution throughout all the different curl patterns in my hair. And I find that everything is nicely defined. And now I'm going to repeat this to the rest of the sections, like I said, just go in, add a little bit of product, and use the praying hands method.
can also make sure that you get this pressed into your roots really well. That will ensure that you don't have any puffiness and that your hair lasts throughout the week. So now I'm done, I'm going to make sure that I don't have any of the parts showing in my head. I'll scrunch a little bit. And you can see that left me with tons of definition. My hair is really smooth and I don't have really any furs at all. Um, I'm going to let this dry all day and I'll come back. Um, what I do to dry my hair, I actually clip my hair back so that I don't get any of the gel on my face so I don't break out. So I'll let my hair dry all day and then I will come back in the morning and show you guys my results. So it's the next day, and this is how I tie up my hair. I just tie up my hair with a scarf, and I have it clipped on both sides. So I shake my hair out, and I just remove the clips. And now I shake my hair out just to ensure that everything is loose and that my hair isn't stuck to my head. So now I'm going to go ahead and scrunch out the crunch and I'm going to go back in with the same oil that I used previously to style my hair. So I just add some to the palm of my hands and I warm it up. And then I just scrunch, scrunch, scrunch. Of course, with any gel, you're going to have a little bit of crunch in your hair. So if you don't like that feeling, this is the best way to go ahead and get rid of that. And as you can see, even though I'm scrunching my hair, Everything is still defined. It's not frizzy at all. Now I'm going to go in with a little bit of edge control. This is the main choice laid back effortlessly edge control. And I just smooth it down nice and easy. I don't try to manipulate my hair and do any crazy swoops or anything. I just lay it down the way it wants to lay naturally. And as you can see here, that is it. My hair is big, it's fluffy, it is extremely defined. I have a little bit of frizz from scrunching, but not much at all. And the best part of this is that as I wear my hair throughout the week, it will continue to swell. So by the end of the week, I will have big, huge, fluffy curls. All right guys, so that is the end of my curly hair routine. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.